Hello, and you're uh, listening to Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Me Dion painting, which is the greatest duet painting on the planet that was done by Leonardo da Vinci. These two images in which here, the one on the left, that is the yellowish tannish type with the two gentlemen, uh, one younger and one older. Um, I could give an, uh, an opinion on uh, uh, what's going on there. I do believe it's a teaching. And I'm going to teach you on something which is a movie in which uh, Leonardo da Vinci did that this in the x-ray on the right side of the um, screen. When you take this particular uh, sketching of Leonardo da Vinci and you overlay it in the symbols here you can overlay it here and you can see how the nose and everything lines up and how the cheeks and how the shoulders when you go to do it you can see the shoulders you can also see when it drops now if you follow over my 300 YouTubes out there well over 300 you will see that he makes it move across the room like this on his images he makes it go up and down he makes it go on an angle uh, the way he uh, did it is um, pretty close to a television. How's a television put a screen out? Uh, with many, many dots that are within it, it itself, and no matter which way you display it, it comes up. Unless you screw up the dots or you got a broken screen. Well, if you follow this through, you will see. This younger gentleman, how his nose always fits in the angle underneath. Here's his nose. And you see these cut angles? Okay. That's one of the areas in which it flows. If you can see how he moves everywhere, that's how he made them move. So let's back up just a section and kind of get you into learning here. You see these cut lines. Now you also see them cut lines this way, but if you look in between each line, you will see that there's an opening, and then within each little shadow next to it, and then it gets a little darker and darker and darker and darker, and then back to shadow. He highlights, goes low, and he does it in transparency. So he has images, if you take a look at the young gentleman, which is easier to spot. And if you take a look at them, you will see that in some of these images here that he is actually looking more up with his mouth. That's because he has him bobbing his head up or down or nodding yes or no. So it's a television. See how that fits perfect? See how the shoulder fits? Now if I just move it over one little dot, it fits again in the black and his eyes match, and his hair lines up in the sections. If you look at this hand here with this circle right in here, watch. I pull this away. See the circle? See? So that's where the older gentleman fits within, along with anywhere you would want him to be, because what he did is his pixels are cartoons of images of portraits of images of cartoons and you can continue that on for a few at least a few believe it or not trillions of times and what I've been trying to explain is, is if you take a kidney shape and you put 400 images on the outside of the kidney shape and you put 400 images inside the kidney shape like a pool and each degree you turn it, it so happens to change. Kind of like a triangle if you move one of the dots. So out of that particular ordeal in which you uh, do, you got 800 images. And then in a circle, which is even more when it's larger, like a kidney shape, it so happens to be multiplied by 800 times 360 degrees. Okay. So that comes out to about 2.5 million images in a dot. And so in each dot, 
that is as big as a pixel gets blown up into trillions. So when you end up with two dots, it can actually be two different separate images. So you got 2.5 million times 2.5 million you think is 5 million. It isn't. But it is so happens to be uh, probably 25 million with Leo. 1 plus 1 never, never equals 2 with Leo. It multiplies much better. See how the, See how these dots right here, these two dots, you pull this down, you see his hair? That's a face. So if you take a look, it's a face that he made hidden in the hair. So when you pull this back, you can see how it perfectly made. So when you put this back in here, at the right particular, it fits 100%. See, if you also look at this image, you see these curves, okay? This fits within the curves. You see the shadow and these curves up in here? They fit. When you adjust this to be the right height within each pixel movement, it will fit in the ones that are easier to see. So what I'm trying to tell you is that's part of his code. And in part of his code, okay, no, here's a perfect example. If you see this face right here, there's the face, and you put it up, you see this face is angled just a hair. It's almost perfect, but he gives it a slight move. So if you see this face, then you see it within this little black line on top of the face is a face. It's like a shadow of a face. And then you see a little lighter line, and then you see a white line shading into darker whites, and it goes on, and so it equals a face on top of a face on top of a face on top of a face, etc. So that's what one of Leonardo da Vinci's codes of tricks. Is it a code? Yes, in art. It's his hidden art of his secret way of making a movie in a painting that is not a TV plugged into the wall. In other words, the canvas is a television of many images within it that is a television of showing like a flip book that actually comes out to be the Mona Lisa. Let me see if I can show you the particular image here for you to see that this is the x-ray turned of my painting which is of the me dion painting which um you gotta forgive me that i didn't have it set up for you to see which this is an x-ray now this is not an x-ray this is the older more mature mona lisa he is serenaded by an extremely handsome man. The Mona Lisa is Sali. And if you want to Google it and learn it, or you want to follow over my 300 YouTubes, which would be well over 60 hours of learning, I've got many years. I am looking for someone who can financially um, wish to um, help me with my um, studies uh, uh, for financial support so I can continue sitting here 10 hours a day nearly and doing this. Uh, today I had a very short day and the Mona Lisa doesn't need a picture because everybody knows of the Mona Lisa but I'm going to show it to you anyway and the Mona Lisa is coming up on a tiff which is still a low quality compared to the quality in which I've been using and this is the Mona Lisa. So the Mona Lisa is me Dion. So the two images of these women are the same. Okay, do a DNA on them and you will know that the young lady on the left is a young, which young, woman believed to be in her teens 
And this is another woman that so happens to be the older, more mature Mona Lisa. And it is also his diary, well over 300 signatures of all his loved ones. He has his hidden works in it. He passed it on with his birth date and death date. And how would he know his death date? Is his loved ones sent it out around for his um, friends and pupils and loved ones and, and associates to sign it, rest in peace, after he died. It has the story of Leonardo and his teaching and his love and his hidden works. I want to say God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. Don't give up. Uh, help me out. Uh, contact number is Camaro Land Man 77777 at gmail.com or me Dion Passion at gmail.com or 707 568 7022. If you need to contact, leave a message and someone will get back to you. Again, God bless.